What's going on guys? We got a special bike review today. We have the uh, 2021 Specialized Athos Pro uh, ETAP, which is uh, with, the, with the Force Axis group set. Uh, so we got a two by system here with uh, full wireless setup. So really, really excited to show you guys this. So I have added an uh, official road bike to the collection, something with a two by drivetrain and carbon wheel set. Really, really excited to show you guys uh, all the little bits and pieces of this bike. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a long journey, uh, about six, eight months now looking for a bike and the right one came along and uh, you know, you had to jump on it. So let's check this guy out. To start with, first of all, the color of this bike inside my house does not do any justice to this uh, kind of flat black color. It actually has a bunch of uh, really pearl flakes of blue in it that uh, the sun gets out. So I'll do my best to show that, but uh, inside you're not gonna see it. It's just kinda, kinda look like a pretty standard black bike. So to start things off on this build, we've got a really nice Roval carbon wheel set with uh, through axles here, front and back, which is really where the direction of the industry is going. So we've, uh, with these guys, they do have the DT Swiss 350 hub internals, which is uh, an absolute workhorse for those guys. Very little problems. Um, they last forever, super easy to rebuild. But the main thing here is that it has the uh, through axle on the fork as well as the through axle on the rear end of the bike in that 12 by 142 mil standard, which like I said, is quickly becoming the new norm for road biking. One of the appeals of this bike as well is the fact that it has a standard steer tube, which gives me tons of options. As you can see, it's kind of set up here uh, out of the box, uh, lots of steer tube. Uh, I could cut some off, it's not a big deal. We can get into that later. But um, you know, it gives me the option to run a standard stem with a standard bar with a standard steer tube. Specialized has done a little bit of work to uh, change up the star nut configuration to reduce weight, which is awesome, uh, as this is in fact, uh, one of the lightest road bikes they've ever been able to manufacture. As we can see here, uh, this is the steer tube on the bike, standard one and one eighth, which is awesome, but it is in fact made of carbon fiber, which brings the weight down of, uh, of the fork, which is absolutely awesome to see. It comes standard with a, an aluminum stem, as well as uh, on this one, I believe it's a 440 mil bar. Uh, I could double check because it is the 61 centimeter size that they likely have gone up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bank on that and say it's a 40, 44 centimeter bar, but uh, the standard aluminum stem is, you know, a welcome, welcome thing to change out if need be. I looked it up and yes, I was right, 44 centimeter bar. Uh, it is carbon fiber and it is their S-Works variety. So really, really good value there. I don't see myself changing that anytime soon. It uh, has a really good fit and feel to it and uh, no issues there. The handlebar comes wrapped with SuperCaz sticky tape, which, uh, fun fact, I believe the son of Mike Sinyard uh, owns this particular company. So you do see uh, SuperCaz tape spec throughout their lineup, but uh, it doesn't take away the fact that it's a really good quality product with uh, longevity and, uh, you know, just a really, really smart specking choice uh, on this particular bike. As mentioned, it does come with Specialized House brand Reval wheel set. Uh, this particular one is a uh, Reval Alpina CL. So that guy is, I believe, a 21 mil internal uh, with carbon rim. Uh, these guys, I believe, are 33 mil deep, maybe 35. Uh, I could have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's 33 mil deep. Um, and then obviously the internals are uh, DT Swiss 350 star ratchet systems, and then topped off with aero, uh, aero bladed spokes, which I'll try to zoom in on and show you what that really means. So as we can see here, these are DT spokes in that aero bladed capacity. And all that means is that the spoke goes from being round to being hammered flat to improve uh, aerodynamics and uh, wind resistance. So really, really smart. And you typically only see aero bladed spokes on higher end uh, wheel sets. And in this case, these guys are not cheap. As mentioned, we have a standard 27.2 uh, round seat post, which is awesome. You can change that up to whatever the hell you want. The fact that this particular model comes with uh, carbon fiber S-Works post is uh, once again, incredible value. Light, lightweight, good, uh, good geometry to it. And then uh, top it off with a standard aluminum size seat clamp makes this bike just so beautiful for what it is and that simplicity and uh, you know, giving you the ability to work on it in different towns and, and that kind of thing where if you're traveling, you don't have to worry about being able to find a 27.2 mil post if you break it or a standard stem or standard bar. It's just simplicity. 
And then on the top, we have the uh, Specialized Power Pro saddle, which is tie rails and a carbon body. So super light, really good choice. From here, we really go into the one of the bigger reasons why you buy this particular model. So it comes with a uh, SRAM Force 2x12 drivetrain, uh, which is humongous. It is Axis, so it's fully wireless um, with the battery pack being on the derailleur. Uh, it just it makes a whole lot of sense, especially for me on the Stigmata. I was looking for uh, constantly searching in between gears on the road, and this is going to really fix that problem. So this is kind of where a lot of the money is made on a bike, uh, the drivetrain and the wheel set. Um, so really, really excited to get this guy going. So like I said, on the front we have this 2 by setup, which is really, really awesome. Carbon crank set itself, which looks really, really sharp. Really, really lightweight as well. And then the, the chain, as you can see, it has that flat top design. And the flat top essentially means that uh, the portion that touches the chain ring, or the chain, uh, yeah, I guess the chain ring, uh, it's grooved just like a standard chain, but on the top it is flat. And I'll zoom in and show you that. So there's your flat top chain. It just uh, looks really, really cool. Nothing crazy. I don't know if it's a big advantage. They say it's supposed to improve longevity and durability and all that stuff, but I just think it looks really sharp. Now, obviously one of the drawbacks of this particular bike is that it does not come with a power meter. So it, uh, you know, if you look at some of the giants and some of the other brands that are competing at this price point, uh, they try to include a, a power meter. The good news is that uh, the force group set you can equip with a power meter for about 400 bucks, 440 bucks US, which is not insane. Uh, or if you want to send your uh, left crank arm to like a 4i in, in Cochrane, it can be done for around the same price as well. So there are options. It's not a deal breaker, but uh, you know, if it were up to me, I would have loved the bike to come with a power meter from the floor. And then obviously on the back end, we have the standard Forest derailleur, nothing too crazy to see here. And then uh, a fairly big range cassette compared to some of the smaller ones from Shimano. Uh, a lot of people are really starting to like this. A lot of people are really starting to like the 1033 12 speed range that uh, the Forest uh, force cassette gives you, which is awesome. Uh, to me, it's just gonna fill in a lot of the holes in my gearing. So really excited to get out on the Force and uh, put some miles in on it. But so far, looks really, really sharp shifts really crisp and uh, feels like a really high quality product. Uh, the tires that it comes stock with, you know, it's a lightweight bike. Uh, they're 700 by 26 C uh, specialized S-Works turbo tires. They're nothing crazy. They're lightweight. Um, they're probably not going to stay on this bike very long. I'm probably going to err more towards the side of comfort with a 28 or 30 uh, C tire. And uh, as you know, I like my GP 5000. So that if, you know, if I was a betting man, that's probably what I would look at. If you have something to recommend, please, by all means, leave it below and let me know. But uh, these S-Works turbo tires are probably going to be uh, gone in no time. On the brake side of things, uh, you know, you get a hydraulic set of disc brakes with the carbon fiber levers, which look really, really sharp. Uh, the main thing that I really dig about these is the fact that the replacement pads are top loading, meaning you don't have to take this uh, caliper off the bike. Uh, pull it off the adapter and then remove the pads from the bottom. You can just unscrew this guy here in that cotter pin and uh, change the pads right out on the spot. Super easy for maintenance. And uh, you know, I've had uh, rival brakes on my Stigmata as well as my Sutra now for a little while. So I, I know what I'm getting with the Force. It's just a higher tolerance brake, a little bit lighter weight, better materials, but same great feel and uh, reliability that I've come to know. And another thing, I can't believe this, but it comes with a threaded bottom bracket. You'll notice all my bikes have them and I will not stray from that. It's very important to me. So really, really stoked to have a threaded bottom bracket with these uh, force carbon cranks and the dub bottom bracket system. Um, what a good design. I can't say enough about having threaded bottom brackets and there's a reason so many companies now are switching back to them from the press fits. Cable routing uh, at the head tube is internal from there uh, on. Uh, on the old S-Works models, uh, they only were set up for wireless group sets, but now you can actually run mechanical with this little box on the top tube here. Okay, essentially what you're doing is popping this guy open and you're able to, to uh, put a mechanical group uh, right into the frame, so your 105s or your uh, standard Altegra wired or even Durace wired uh, setups. Um, if it's not a... <sighs> If it's not a sneak peek of things to come, I would assume that they're going to start offering lower models with you know, the entry-level drivetrains. But that's just me guessing, uh, why else would you put that on the frame? And behind the water bottle mount, we can see a nice little UCI sticker. I don't know how conforming this bike is to that, but uh, woohoo. And on the head tube, we have a nice little Athos logo, uh, which looks really, really sharp. And you can kind of start getting a little flavor of the paint color here with the, uh, the metallic chips in the back. 
tire clearance is very generous. Uh, even though this is 26, I have about a centimeter or 10 mils on each side here. I'm not gonna obviously utilize that, but uh, you know, throwing a set of 32s or whatever on here should be no problem at all. So that is kind of it for this bike. Uh, really, really excited to get it out and uh, get some time in, get some mileage in on the road and see what this thing's capable of. Uh, as it sits right now in the 61 centimeter size, uh, with pedals, it's about 16 pounds. The thing weighs nothing. Um, from what I'm told, you know, it's a very nice, smooth handling bike with all the classic features that uh, a lot of people talk about. So really excited. I can't wait. I haven't been more excited to ride a bike than this in uh, quite some time, which sounds silly. I know I, it seems like I am always getting different bikes, but uh, c'est la vie. So really excited to try this guy out. So who's this bike for? Well, I'm guessing someone who doesn't do a whole lot of racing uh, because let's be honest, it's not an aerodynamically uh, acceptable bike in today's market. But to me, it's somebody that wants simplicity with standard parts, you know, round seat post, uh, steer tube that's uh, normal, normal stem, normal bar, easily, easy to get parts for. Um, you know, someone that, you know, you could probably build this thing as a wicked climbing bike as well, but uh, you know, it's just a person that's really into that purity of a bike from, I, I wanna say right around 2011, 2012, when they started going right into the aero world. Um, so this is kind of a throwback to like the, uh, the SL4, SL5 kind of days. But uh, with modern geometry, modern standards, uh, and then I guess throw in the uh, threaded bottom bracket and through axles and hydraulic disc brakes, and you've got a killer, killer ride that uh, looks timeless, classic. It's, it's here to stay with all the right standards that you need. So this to me is an absolute home run. I can tell you that before even going out on the bike, but I'm absolutely stoked beyond belief to go ride this thing and report back. So this is as clean as it's ever gonna look. So uh, take it in while you can, but uh, that's all you got for me, or that's all I got for you for now. And uh, until next time, I'll report back on this guy. So thanks for checking this out. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks guys.